Hey do. Uh, welcome to my DAC unboxing a thon. So this is part one. So I've got a couple things. I took advantage of that buy for the two free sale. And I did, I said in my last video, was going to be doing either this one or the crystal canvas art to try out how I like these boxes and these containers. So I did start Tom and Jerry. I'm very excited. It's, as you can see right down here, I started it last night. It's got a lot of color blocking. Um, I adore color blocking. And I forgot, I bought this one the week after I bought the three Abraham Hunter ones. I got the bunny, the fox, and the deer that's round. And then I bought this one next week because I had to get Tom and Jerry. But Tom and Jerry is going to go in my kids' playroom, which eventually will be like a gaming and like movie room. So <coughs> Tom and Jerry will have a home. So, one, two, three, four, <laughs> and one obviously special one because it's not in a regular ordinary box. So, let's do the special one and the smaller one. So I'm excited. DAC has their rounds back in stock. Um, they have been really doing kits, new kits for quite a while in squares because of um, they were revamping their rounds, I believe. So, Start with Game of Thrones and move Tom and Jerry. Plastic. So, yeah. Game of Thrones is a very large canvas. Um, I'm a huge, huge Game of Thrones fan. So is my husband. We, uh, enjoy the money. Or the show. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. So I figured this could also go, if not in the playroom, then I will plan on putting it in my bedroom. My husband and I, like I said, both adore Game of Thrones. So. So let's see how many. Maybe I'll take that. So how many might have a new kit? So, so Game of Thrones is part of the HBO family. So this is the big part of the show. If we've never seen it. It's the um, really cool box that's you know all dark because of the show, and it's got. The design wraparound, which is how you pretty much see them if you've never bought a Diamond Art Club in the store. They, um, that's how they look in the store, is they have the design that's in the box wrapped around it. And there is another one that's the dragon that's a lot of red and black, but I like this robe better. So. Like, I like the dragons, but I kind of like this one more. Because the dragons, to me, symbolize parts of the movie or the show, but doesn't really symbolize, like, the whole show. Where the Game of Thrones, that chair that the king sits on, is the basis of the, you know, what the goal is to... Um, Replace the king, so thought that was a little more up my alley. So, if you've never seen, oh, they are different. Their new kits. This is what you get in your new toolkit. So I just wanted to compare. Um, 
This is going to be very hard. So, this is the first round of the new toolkits. So, this one definitely looks like it's bigger. It looks like it's a little wider. And then it's clear and it's like a harder plastic than that. So, cool. Oh, yeah. And this isn't even fitting in very well. I don't think these stoppers really um, maybe oh, oh maybe that's the trick okay so don't put it in all the way just put it in so it's in like three quarters of the way and then it's not as hard to get in and out so tray this is cover minder this holds back the plastic cute little peach colored rose. Now we have the wax. There's two in there. This little container to keep them from getting dried out. And this one is a pretty and I like um, them and Art Club has always had matching like first they had the blue but now they've upgraded so you know, you're going to get a coordinating um, squishy or pen grip to your pen and I think that's really pretty the yellow. and then you got two multi placers a bag of baggies for your extras or for your uh, that's really pretty too and that's got yellow so that though I mean that toolkit totally coordinates the peach is in the tape and the yellow is also in the tape so yeah and then these are their new I haven't gotten these tweezers yet because I haven't bought a square kit until now. So yeah, they're branded. And they went back to the one. I saw the first round they had the two, one on each. So it looks like they went back to the one. So that's what you get in your toolkit. And these bags are nice. Um, I like to use them when I kit something up. And if I do, I have enough containers, but... There's an overflow of like a certain color. I will um put that one in there. So I'm gonna put that and I will put that on the container when I kit it up. I like to save that little sticker for that. Especially when it's a branded box. I don't really need to put it on the end anymore. But I will also use the other sticker put it on the box if my box isn't is big enough if not then I just cut off the deep part and just put that on there so holy color blocking wow this is a, oh my god so I was at first intimidated by it because of the size I mean it's square like I'm not the best at squares I've gotten better but if I had to do a company that has a square, this is a company I will do. So, well, you can't even see the whole thing. Wow. So, we literally have one, two, three, five colors. That's it. This is a very simple kit. Okay. I am feeling confident that I can finish this one a lot more. So, here is your sticker. And all of these are blank, so all of these are extra stickers you can use for kidding up other things. So there's a window here for five. And looks like there's one AB, which is 107. Wow. So that beige, that entire background is the same color. So this is a sticker, and it gives you your size. And you can put your start and end. And then all these are blank stickers that you can reuse for another kit. And here is your little, and I like how they slimmed it down. So it tells you about the VIP group to go there. Tells you about all the things you need to know how to down pay. Thank you for your purchase. And there's codes for a 10% discount. And it's on your canvas as well for your next purchase. But 
you can't use the 10% with a buy one, get one, or buy, you know, I could buy four, get two, so you do have to choose one. And you can't use a code, I think, with your rewards. I think you have to use either or. And I haven't used my rewards yet, I'm just letting them, letting them uh, get, so I'm just going to try to not take this out, because this is like so simple. So, if you've never seen, we're not taking all that big <laughs> So, it looks like eight. Is it 823? So, that's probably just going to accent a few spots. And then 107, there's three bags of it. So, this is probably 666, which is red, true red. Um, this is probably that. With an AB. So 107, and then there's 666, and then 939. So there's no 310. So all the dark is actually blue. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that back in there so I don't have to fight with it. And then 945 is that background color. That's why I don't have to fight with it. There's only four. Well, let me get you in a little closer so you can see the uh, let me see my scissors. So, I'm guessing what is yeah, so it looks like all of if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, these are all the houses. Um, so you have the stag, the dragon. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, there's the Lannisters. There's the, um, what's his name? The crazy guy. <laughs> the crazy guy. Uh, Flame, the guy. The guy strung up. I forget the name of that house. There's the Starks. I'm interested to see. Yeah, I wonder if that's supposed to represent the little birds. And I have no idea what that's supposed to represent. Not a clue. If you know, please let me know. So, yeah. So, yeah. Maybe. Is that House Terrell? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That, that must be House Terrell. Because that's a flower. And I remember her saying that, you know, their house mascot was, you know, a flower compared to, you know, the dire wolf of the house stars. So yeah, so it has all of the different houses on here, and then the big game of thrones throne, and it's all red and that blue, and then in the name is the tan color, but all the houses are that AB, and then the hole around it. So, and all, if you're scared of one this size, and I forgot to tell you the size, hold on. So the size of this one is a 27.6 by 33.9 inch or a 70 by 86 centimeter. So it's really, it's not as intimidating once you get going, especially if you are skilled in the multi-placement. So definitely going to be fun, especially because this is the subject I enjoy very, very much. Which I try to do a gift and then one for me and then like a fun one that could be a gift or just go to my book and then one for me and then a gift. I try to like shake it up so Tom and Jerry's going to stay in my house. This is going to stay in my house when I get to it. So yeah, I'm very, very excited for Game of Thrones because yeah, definitely I'm not so intimidated now. So. Yay! So let's get the other one. Let me put this away. Okay, so the next one is much smaller. It's also a square. It is. And I wasn't 
wasn't sure. I thought maybe this one was one of the ones that was a partial box. No. Pasta puppy. 17 by 17. So 43 by 43 centimeters. So. An easy size to manage and be an easy size to frame. So, I've done a couple for this size, and I enjoy having a much smaller, and then a closer, manageable size. So this one, so let's look at the extremes. Our last one had five colors. This one has 40 colors. So smaller size, more colors. But it just shows you how they chart it to make it come out the best way possible. So here's our colors, and we have one, two, three, four ABs in this one. So there is our start and end date. There's our sizing. There's all of our stickers. There's the same information. Let's take a look at it. So this one's also square, so there should also be tweezers in this toolkit. Okay, so we got a green. Let's see if I can collect all the colors in this. Six. Any order? So we got a green machine, a green pen. Ooh, look at how pretty this one is. Like flowers with gold. And now this one I think would go better with Game of Thrones. It's a dark heart. And then the same tweezers, baggies. Multi placer and the stuff. So it seems good to use just a different color pattern and a different. This is the little bags. So these are all the shading. Oh, there it is. One place of them. Like a very peachy. And then there's another red. One of three. Baby, 
And we have a peach, two reds, and white. Which, if you had to ask my opinion, the white is the most common. more variety this year. And these are tight. One is very awful. I was struggling to get Game of Thrones back in its so I didn't even struggle to put the stickers back in. Well, uh, let's get my review. Ta-da! So, this is my first Ibermam Hunter. And, like always, great drills, great stick, great canvas, great stickers, great clarity, easy chart to read. And this one was a combination of card off here. And then confetti up here, color blocking on the bottom, and confetti in the boxes. So, and a good combination of both. Definitely like it. Um, it's not available right now. It's on the get emailed when it comes back. I know it's a lot of his stuff, but I think a lot of the kits that come around are probably going to be coming back now that they've um, revamped their rounds. So. This is my Abraham Hunter. It's gorgeous. And I uh, definitely am looking forward to doing the bunny and the deer one I bought at the same time. So, yeah. That's the review. That's what it looks like. All done. Fluffy tail. Just a beautiful winter box picture. Yes, it took me almost five months, but I worked on it on and off in between lots of other projects that I ended up doing. So, my first finish for July. If you have any questions, you want to leave me a comment about anything you saw that you want more details about, just let me know. And remember, diamond painting is fun. It is for relaxation and to share the love. Of all things sparkly, arts, artsy, and whatever your subject matter that you enjoy. Bye, guys.